good evening friends welcome to mahalakshmi academy in this video we are going to say how to calculate quantity of steel reinforcing bar using construction without using weighing scale before i begin my tutorial i request you to please subscribe to my youtube channel mahalakshmi academy uh, let us proceed uh, there are various uh, diameter uh, of bars available from 60 uh, to 40 mm there are uh, also bars of higher uh, diameter uh, bars available in the market and this is the bar of 6 mm 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 16 mm 20 mm 25 mm in few markets 5 mm uh, diameter bars are available but these bars are not uh, allowed to be used for the structural purpose these bars are useful for non-structural purpose only even 6 mm to 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 16 mm 20 mm 25 mm 32 mm 40 mm bars are also available these uh, bars are easily available in market by pre-orders but bars of uh, higher diameter 64 and 124 mm are to be specially ordered from the steel plant uh, for building slabs, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm diameters are common. For beams, 12 to 25 mm uh, bars depending upon the span and size. Similarly, for columns, 12 to 25 mm uh, are generally used. 6 mm are generally used for stirrups and wire mesh. Now, the one question which arises is where are the bars greater than 32 mm used? It's, uh, these bars are useful in dams. Actually, the biggest load which, can, uh, which will come on the structure is of uh, water load uh, so this is uh, the, there is always a challenge for a, a structure engineer to design uh, the dams or any st structure related to water as the load on the water is very high this higher diameter bar also used on the aqueduct as a aqueduct as the load coming on the structure is also very high 64 mm 128 mm bar are also used for aqueduct now we will see the formula by which uh, we could uh, calculate the weight of the steel reinforcing bar without actually weighing it uh, with the help of the weighing scale. The formula is simple d square by 162. I repeat it again d square by 162. Suppose suppose the uh, diameter of the bar is 10 mm. Then uh, it becomes 10 square by 162. 100 by 162 is equal to 0 0.6172 kg per meter. One thing I want to make clear is that this uh, 0 0.6172 kg per meter is the weight of the 10 mm bar uh, per meter length of uh, bar. That is for 1 meter length of the bar. So now if we need uh, uh, weight of the bar apart from 1 uh, meter, we will see one example over here. Suppose the length of the bar is 2550 mm and its diameter is 10 mm. Therefore, the weight of the steel bar is d square by 162 into length of the bar, which is equal to 10 square by 162 into 2.25 is equal to 100 by 162 into 2.55 is equal to 1.574 kg. That is 1574 grams. Similar formula, this uh, the formula remains same for uh, all other bar also, d square by 162, uh, suppose the bar, uh, diameter of the bar is 8 mm, therefore 8 square by 162, 64 by 162 is equal to 0 0.3950 kg per meter. This is, uh, once again I will uh, like to repeat one thing, this is the weight of the 8 mm bar per meter length of the bar, it is applicable for 1 meter length of the bar, suppose the length of the bar is apart from 1 meter, then we could see in the example. Now, the length of the bar is 2950 mm and its diameter is 8 mm. Therefore, the weight of this steel bar is d square by 162 into length of the bar is equal to 8 square by 162 into 2.95 is equal to 1.165 kg. That is equal to 1165 grams. Therefore, the weight of the steel reinforcing bar of length 2950 mm and diameter 8 mm is 1.165 kg. That is 1165 grams. Here I have prepared a table for diameter, cross-sectional area, weight of the steel. For 8 mm bar, cross-sectional area is uh, calculated by pi by 4 into d square. That is, for 8 mm bar, it is 550.3 mm square. For 10 mm, 78.5. Similarly, we could find till 32 mm. And the weight of the steel, we have calculated by our standard formula, d square by 162. We do not need weighing scale uh, for, uh, every time we do not need weighing scale for measuring the weight of the steel bar, which is required in the construction. Uh, in the similar way, I have calculated for uh, 12, 16, 20, 25, 32, as I have did for 8 and 10 mm. I have shown in the previous slides. Suppose now if, uh, if the length of the if the reinforcing bar which is used in construction is not circular it is rectangular in shape or it is square in shape it will have some length some width 
and some height. Therefore, one cubic meter steel is equal to 7850 kg. That is equal to 7.850 tons. One cube. Uh, now we will calculate the volume of that uh, rebar, rectangular rebar or square rebar by multiplying length into breadth into height. One thing, uh, one most important thing I may uh, need to clear is that all the dimensions should be in meter. So whatever the volume we get in cubic meter, we multiplied by 7850 kg so that we will get the weight of the steel required. Thank you everyone for uh, watching this video. I request you to please uh, like, comment and share. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel Mahalakshmi Academy. Thank you everyone.